So uh, the first part here, it's about the subframe, or we can say subframe configuration or subframe and slot configuration for the 4G part. If you remember, first of all, in, in 4G, it was about the subframe assignment. It was, we have uh, defined the 3GPP, defined seven uplink, downlink, subframe configuration. And this is being fixed. There is no change. So you can only select one for your network. The co most common one, it's this one, which is uplink, downlink, subframe configuration, which is one, three, means you will have three for downlink and one for uplink and the remaining one will be for the for the duration of five milliseconds so each one will having a subframe so the remaining subframe will be for example a spatial plot so for example here the most common used one is configuration two which is if you click here this is the one we are going to use here as you can see the first five five milliseconds will have one for downlink then one spatial slot then one uplink, then two downlink. So this is a five. Then it will be repeated again for the next five milliseconds. So this is actually what it means. But this is again, it's fixed. We cannot change it. Then now for this special slot again, we need to have something called special SSP configuration, special sub configuration. And again, 3GBB defines also a set of configuration which is up to nine configuration. The most common used usually is even either one or or seven, uh, five or seven. And here I'm giving example for seven. Seven, seven means what? That within this for example subframe it having 14 symbols if you remember so this will give you the distribution for the downlink uplink slots and broadband within this particular symbol for example downlink means all the symbols within this one will be downlink and the uplink means all the symbols will be uplink but the special slot it will be mixed between downlink and uplink and guardband so this table of configuration again you can give it a fixed configuration you cannot change it once you set it on the network for example you're given 10 to 2 this is means you will have 10 for downlink 2 for the guardband and 2 for uplink so this is how it will looks like as you can see here this will be 10 for downlink again and two for the guard band and two for the uplink and again again keep it in your mind this configuration is fixed once you give it to the network you cannot change it the network will keep this configuration all the time between the sites and the user will uh, being to able to to receive the downlink or transmit the uplink within this particular slots or symbols so the main difference is that the 4G is fixed. You cannot change it once you configure it. 4G, 5G, you can have the same as the 4G as fixed, or you can keep it changing this flexible to whatever you need, even for the same static, which would be like you can change it with a specific configuration for this flexible. And the dynamic will be changing those based on the network load and uh, other inputs or factors where the GNB decide what whatever of symbols is going to be allocated within this uh, some flexible subframes.